Welcome back to the MLG Game On 16 player invitational. Wow. We are wow. in set three. The winner's match Minigun versus. Minigun uh, versus Major. Losing his first game in the entire tournament. Actually. Dropping 0 1 right now. Yep. Is Major, Major going to be able to close out the series on Yansu? Yansu. That's the question right now, and that's a question for you to answer. Now, you might be wondering, why is it that after losing, Minigun would choose the map Yansu? And to that, we would say, well, these maps were actually predetermined by the vetoes. Did you know that? Because we didn't until Rob informed us about an hour and a half ago. Yeah. Five and you days might into be, the tournament. If you, and if that wasn't the case and you were wondering, well, Yansu is actually a pretty good map for both. Yeah, that too. So but I just like to give Rob shots on. Yeah. What a map. What a map. I, um... Welcome to Welcome Mech. to Mech. Wow. That's made famous to Avil by Avila. Oh, Cap the wall. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. People are getting mad left and right in this tournament. Oh, my gosh. Only Cap one time. Only one time possible, possible to, to use. <gasps> and unfortunately, Major... Revealing his hand. <laughs> ...might be incorrect. You will never, ever convince him otherwise, because I'm sure that some Kespa player... Or somebody said that you can only use it yeah. once, so he will never yeah. ever use it twice in a tournament. Maybe not even twice in his entire lifetime. Well, unless he's bluffing right now. But if yeah, but you're, I don't if, think Major if that's is what he believes. Of, if that's what he believes, then that's what he believes. I would actually pay a lot of money to see Major trying to bluff at like a poker table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty funny. He would just sit there like and smiling, like start, smiling. Yeah, and yeah. Um, one thing I, I hate I hate to say this. What? Oh. I hate to say this to you guys, but um, Major is not a very public person. He doesn't stream a lot or anything, and, and you don't get a lot of his personality. But Major is definitely probably one of... If you ask any pro gamer, if you get the chance to like, shake a programmer's hand, get an autograph or whatever, just ask him, like, have you ever been around Major before? Like, what's he like? Um, he's definitely one of the more quirky people. What does quirky mean? Um, quirky would be, like, eccentric, um, original, original? Uh, unique, unique, special... Yes. Unique. Quirky. Oddball. Yep. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, he's a pretty he's a pretty good guy. He has uh, a good heart. He, some would say that, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say so. And uh, yeah. I, I, I just think he's a he's a cool guy, he's a good guy, he's just uh, misunderstood sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I I've definitely misunderstood him sometimes. <laughs> He's um he, he he's easy to misunderstand. And uh, but he's a very honest person. He's um he, he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude with good intentions. Very easily misunderstood. We see that Major plans to proxy something. Probably a factory. Factory, like he did in the game's recent control. Wow. Yep. So we're probably gonna see a uh, mines out of this factory. We are not sure if we're gonna see a starport yet. There's an SCV. We're not sure. It looks like he's gonna go scout with that second SCV. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a starport coming up after this. It's certainly possible. I mean, we've seen it both ways, right? Um, I think that if um, I think that if he was going to do just the factory, I think he would have put it closer to the base so we could lift it in and get it in there a little bit earlier. Yeah, maybe. perhaps. So being that far away, I think we're probably gonna see the Stargate to back it up. Yeah, or the might, Starport. might see Hellions then produced out of the factory if that was the case. Maybe. Well, he like, he did the Widow Mine drop against in control, didn't he? Yep. But I think he started off with Hellions, right? I don't even remember. Well, let's see. I guess There's we'll a Starport right next to the factory as yep. well. I mean, again, doing a great job of scouting around for proxies, but this proxy is located far away. Unfortunately, enough yeah. that it may not get scouted at all. Hopefully, I mean, Blink is very likely on this map, so a Twilight is more likely to go up in a robotics facility, which would be unfortunate if these mines were dropped in the base. Yeah, most definitely. That's an excellent point, and that might be uh, what Major is taking into consideration, but it is going to be an Oracle, and that's going to help with detection as well. Sure, so. definitely, yeah. Uh, it all depends on the timing. It it could be uh, an unfortunate timing for Minigun if he's moving out in the middle in the middle of the map with his first oracle, uh, when the medevac flo uh, floats in. Yeah. So, gonna have to wait and see what happens here. But um, Minigun is definitely gonna have the tools in the oracle that he's gonna be making to potentially put an end to uh, to the widow mines. 
we'll see if he kind of get, gets lucky here, I suppose. That we will. Oh, very similar to in control. I really like this. Uh, what he did against in control. He's gonna go in into the main with the mines, try and force the nexus cannon into the main, and then harass the natural. Yeah, with move, that move to group. the natural when there's no nexus cannon. And we do have a probe going. A probe will scout it. So minigun does kind of know what's up here. He's got a couple stalkers in position. Yeah, Is he gonna be able to get that mine? He doesn't go for it. Instead, yeah. he goes for the medevac. Will he force the nexus cannon with this? I don't think so. No. So a little bit unfortunate for. Oh yeah, he will. Did he? Well, he will. Because he's moving the army, the rest of the army to the front. So he has to defend the yeah. and there it is. Uh, I don't know, boy. Oh, he's got the Oracle fighting and he doesn't lose it, which is good. Yep. He needs to stop these bunkers from going up, and I think he'll be able to do it. He's got two Stalkers versus three Marines. That's an easy the, win for Minigun Stalkers. This is what control just straight up died to, right? Yeah. But, to be fair, though, I mean, this Minigun is a very, yeah. very good fight. Yeah, of course. I was just wondering what any control could have done better, it seems. Okay. It seems like Minigun just... Wow. Whatever he, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just, I, I don't understand. Okay. Um, pretty all inish, I guess, from oh, very Major. Because so, he had to so. lift he the starport no and the factory. Yeah, yeah, so. No damage at all whatsoever, so. Wow. What Ooh, a game. Wow. Well, we're we... going to take a three minute break and we're going to come back. No, we're not. Unfortunately for us, we're pretty tired at this no, point. No, we're not. I am. And Destiny told me that he was during the break. <laughs> I don't know. Why would you share things that I confide with you in privacy? Because. We're going to hop right into game three. We're not tired at all. We're ready to do this. We're going to rock it. That's not what I want to say. I'm saying, saying, just, you know. There might not be as much Daisy tonight. There, there may not be as much Daisy. So if you enjoyed Destiny's stream, he's not going to be playing his favorite game, Daisy, today. Although I've been playing... um. I might have some tournaments I'm playing in uh, coming up, so maybe I'll play Wait. with StarCraft. What? Good. What's wrong? Okay. No, yeah, that was game three. Okay. Major, that was game two. Major's got that was it. game two. I'm tired. Wow, Robin production. How, 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 how long is this cast? So We've far. only been casting for like three and a half hours, dude. No. Seven hours. Okay, seven, seven hours so hours. far? It's not even a full work day. Do you even know what it's like to work? There are so many, like, bad Mexican jokes and stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to make them. No, make them. Make them all. Being half Cuban and having my co-caster mm. being half uh, Peruvian, I'm going okay. to go ahead and... Uh, do I get immunity to make those jokes? I mean, I look pretty white. You look pretty white. I don't think so. Yeah. But, okay, but I, I like... I... You could whisper it to me and I'll say it. <laughs> I do have immunity. With Juan being Mexican... Okay, there we go. We have plenty of. Do we get it? We get proper immunity now to make. I think so. Yeah, go ahead. It's something about. There's like some about like roofing and like working a seven hour casting and complaining. You know what I'm getting at, right? Right. You can put th those are the elements to put together in your mind to make whatever kinds of jokes you want to make. Sure. Sure. 